Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In this episode, the traveling trio became the traveling duo as my dad Daniel returned back to Canada. After six weeks traveling together across Argentina and Uruguay, he flew back home while Sam and I hopped on a flight south to begin the Patagonia leg of our journey. But before we parted ways, we had time for one final meal in Buenos Aires and some reminiscing as we walked through the city parks in bloom. try to visit this restaurant every time we're in the city, Bodego Norte, you know it by now. Oh! Oh, perfecto! Oh. I'm having a filet of fish, which is merluzzo. I think in English they call it a whiting or something like that. With uh, mashed potatoes and uh, to hydrate us, that's what we're having. Estiva One, Malbec 2019, Bodegas Esmeralda, okay, you? I'm having a chicken milanesa, it's called Suprema, yeah. some fries. How is it? It's good, I mean this is like party, home cooked meals. And apparently the tiramisu is really good here, so we're gonna I have to try that for dessert, yeah, yeah uh -huh. for sure. Well people, we just uh, finished having lunch. We went to the Bodegón Norte to visit our friend uh, Rogelio, which is the owner. Super person, beautiful uh, human being. He always treats us like uh, royalty. We ate like, what can I tell you? But in this place, it's amazing. Like, I mean, the, the portions are huge and the prices are affordable all the way. I think I had that uh, merluza filet which is a filet of breaded fish. And I think that one with the mashed potatoes came to about uh, 450 US, mm -hmm. $4.50. Yeah. And everything is like that. Around $5 per person, you have a full course meal. And now we are sitting in one of these typical uh, squares of Buenos Aires. Here they call them plaza. In North America, plaza is a different thing. It's like a shopping mall. But here in Latin America, a plaza is a city square here where you have a park, you know? And these are the typical plazas in Buenos Aires. Square city block. And look at the trees. Look at the tiles where you, the walkways, everything is tiled, beautiful. The buildings too, every single building is a different shade of color. Beautiful day, about 25 degrees. Day after tomorrow, I'll be in Toronto with Snow. minus 15, minus 17, <laughs> snowy. Anyways, tomorrow we're gonna be flying. These two are going to Patagonia. I'm going to Canada. And maybe next trip, this trip we did uh, Tucumán, Salta, Jujuy. The previous trip we did Mendoza. Always Cordoba and Buenos Aires, of course. Maybe the next trip we'll do Patagonia. I can go to Patagonia. And okay. I can do the Atlantic coast where I lived so many years in the city of Necochea. I've never been back 50 years. So, yeah, that's all we have for now. We're gonna take a little walk to kind of uh, digest, you know, the boa constrictors and the alligators, they go on the sun to digest. But us, we have to walk it, yeah. you know? <laughs> What's a lot of food, eh? It's a lot of food. A good bottle of wine, yeah. that it can never be without when you have a meal here in Argentina totally affordable, beautiful city. Come and visit, beautiful city. You know, you won't be disappointed. Let's go walk. Thank you. Thank you. Well, here we are, final moments of the trip. The last six weeks have come and gone yeah the trip is over for me yeah you saw a lot of Argentina a bit of Uruguay yeah very nice trip very yeah. nice uh, areas that we visited you so. got to see Togo your yeah. son Togo is uh, been six weeks without uh, his Papa. father <laughs> so it's a little bit uh, chubbier I think I saw some pictures it's a little bit uh, fatter because apparently with the cold weather he's hungry and he wants to eat three times a day. 
<laughs> so if they don't feed him the last feeding, feeding at night before he goes to bed, he starts crying and uh, uh, acting up. So yeah, he put on a little bit of weight, but uh, we want to exercise him now uh -huh. and see if goes back to normal. Yeah. You know? That's it. We're waiting for the taxi cab to come and pick us up. Yep. and take us to Ezeiza uh -huh. and uh, well we'll see you when we film back in Canada take care Bye. <laughs>Seisa International Airport is about 40 minutes with no traffic, but we always like to give ourselves a little bit more time, just in case. Also, I know we've mentioned this in other videos, but this trip was pre-pandemic, hence the crowded airport and lack of masks anywhere. This is also where we said bye to my dad since we were flying out of two different terminals, though we forgot to film it. At the airport. At the airport, this is our first time coming to Ezeiza and flying from the tiny little domestic wing. And where are we going? Have we told people where we're going? Hint, hint. Hint, hint, wink, wink. And yeah, we're going to probably one of the most famous places in Patagonia, Barloche. Mm -hmm. But guys, last time we, I wouldn't say we got stuck in that area, we really wanted to explore the Lake District and we are going back there for a little bit. But the main goal of the second phase of our trip, post your dad going home mm -hmm. is we are going to head to the far south of Patagonia to the ends of the, the earth. ends of the earth and we're gonna travel there slowly and we couldn't be more excited Patagonia like I'm all in on Patagonia <laughs> this is my favorite part of Argentina hand like hands down I can't wait to go back it reminds me a lot of British Columbia the province I'm from in Alberta Alberta close to British Columbia, that little sliver mm -hmm. that pretends that it's kind of nearby British Columbia. All right, all right, let's not be this. <laughs> but anyways, I thought it would be uh, appropriate to have a Patagonia beer. Cheers. Cheers to Patagonia. Oh, that's good. They make good beer. And yeah, we've just got some chips. We've got some sandwiches coming in a few minutes and yeah. Couldn't be more excited. Like, I feel so pumped for this part of the journey. And we're gonna see more of you on camera. We're gonna see more of me on camera. You've been hiding behind the camera. Well, you and your dad have been doing an awesome job of, uh, of hosting. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be doing a little more talking, at least in the English videos. And um, what a great trip we had with your dad. Six weeks of a, a real adventure. I mean, it, it was great. Like, we saw some amazing places. Our health wasn't fantastic on this trip. We kind of were all dropping like flies at various points. But I mean, it's just part of the journey. And um, yeah, he's, he's flying home to some very cold weather in Canada. Yes. And we are, are we're gonna be, we're heading into summer. So it's the opposite season over here in Argentina. So I kind of feel a bit bad for him. I think it's like minus 15 in snow. Bariloche was just over two hours and it was a really nice and smooth flight. Then once we landed we hopped in a taxi and got a ride to the most picturesque lakeside cottage that we found on Airbnb. few nights we just got here and it's a beautiful place 
It's so cozy. You guys, we're next to a lake surrounded by forests and mountains. Yeah. We're outside the city. We purposely chose a place outside Bariloche because when we came here for the first time a few months ago, we just fell in love with this area. We're like around kilometer 18 right now, like around Circuito Chico, which is the big circuit you can drive just outside Bariloche where you get to see the mountains and the lakes. So yeah, it's a beautiful area. We got here a bit late, so the only restaurant nearby, um, it's kind of fancy and you have to make reservations. We called, but there was no space left for tonight. Maybe tomorrow. So that wasn't really an option. And then we didn't stop and do groceries tonight either, so we were without food. But our Airbnb host is so nice, so generous. She insisted she had to feed us. I'm like, no, 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 we're okay. We can drink tea and coffee. <laughs> and she showed up at our door with like a bag full of food, like spaghetti, tomato oh, sauce. Such onions, a nice gesture. I'm so impressed. Breakfast food. She's been so lunch. helpful and friendly so far. She's given us and really good tips of how to get around, gave us a yeah. transportation card. Yeah. And yeah, we're just piecing together uh, a little pasta meal, which is <laughs> it's wonderful. That'll be uh, that'll be dinner. We're having a workation here. Time. We're not going to be filming as much as we normally would. But we're going to be getting caught up in work and exactly. having a great day. That's all for now, but we'll see you soon with an epic Argentine food tour featuring all sorts of craft beer, chocolates, and local dishes with wild boar and trout. Plus, we'll also be taking you on a day trip to a pretty spectacular island, so stay tuned.